This is three from Uncle G for today. No, that is bad taste. Uncle G's take on being rich and famous. How long are you gonna last? Well, you can't say. No. When I come home to you, be big headed and say, "Yeah, we're gonna last ten years." Now I'm gonna do something that's not easy to do. I'm gonna sit down. You know, we're lucky if we last three months. Some people become famous for their talent. Others for no good reason at all. Relax my throat and make eye contact. Some try to capitalize on that fame. Don't do that. Lorraine Bobbitt opened up a school for moils. We're performing a break here, not a burlesque show. I could have been a kosher butcher like my brother. I thought it would have lasted longer. The money's good. It's got a union with benefits. But not every venture is successful. Use grit, oh radio friends. The soap that gives your hands that dishpan look. Quite a few were just bad ideas from the start. Only two things have kept Uncle G from being rich and famous. I'm broke. Nobody knows who the hell I am. My doctor asked me if anyone in my family suffers from mental illness. I said, no. We all seem to enjoy it. Serenity now! Serenity now. Insanity later. Then that doctor asked me about my sex life. I said, Doc, the only thing missing from my sex life it's another person. I think that's a great idea. I really don't mind getting old. <laughs> oh, my body is having a major fit. I think you're better than me, huh? <laughs> Do something to help somebody else out today. Chicky ended up getting beer to four out of the six neighborhood buddies. You'll feel better about it, too. This has been three from Anka G for today. You have a very rare sense of humor. Until next time.